Good Friday morning, all you beautiful souls in Springfield, Massachusetts, and everywhere on the 4 and 3. This is episode 79 of 4 and 3 Sports Talk on Friday, June 11, 2021. My name is Rahim Mascalari. How's everybody doing? Today, I have scores and review from the NBA playoffs. Um, last night, there was also a lone hockey game. We got some scores. And we have a score and uh, review for that. Scores from the Major League Baseball, Western Mass Sports, and my personal congratulations to the Oklahoma Sooners, the Lady Sooners. Um, they won the softball, the uh, Women's Championship World Series last night over Florida State by a score of 5-1. to one. So congrats to the Lady Sooners. Uh, but as for now, let's get into this episode. Um, really quickly in the NBA, last night if you were uh, fortunate enough to watch the Bucks and Nets game, you would have witnessed um, the lowest scoring game of all season. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks, 86 points, was the lowest by a team with a victory in the NBA um, in the last three seasons, including the postseason. Um, so that was another interesting, interesting fact I uh, learned last night. Um, anyway, Giannis, Giannis um, played well. Um, I love I love the fact that um, it, it seemed like him and Chris Middleton were kind of like sharing the spotlight. Um, Chris Middleton had a crazy game last night, as you know. Um, and the Milwaukee Bucks played great defense. Um, you know, it kind of goes back to what I say about the NBA being fixed potentially. Um I think Stevie Wonder saw that uh, the Brooklyn Nets were going to lose this game. But um, game four will be Saturday. Saturday night at 8.30, I believe. Um, game four, uh, I look to see the big three firing on all cylinders. And um, I believe they'll get a win in that game, in that contest as well. Now for the second game of the NBA playoffs last night. Um, another good one. Uh, I was privileged to watch it, the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, what I will say for the Jazz, I love Donovan Mitchell and the way he's just assumed this star role in the NBA. Um, I honestly think back in 2019, uh, Donovan Mitchell deserved a lot of play, um, a lot of features, whatever whatever um, the word you want to use. Um, I, felt, I felt that's when he introduced himself to the league. Um, but last night and in in these playoff series and the uh, last series, um, Donovan Mitchell is really coming to his own. And like I said before, assume the star role. And he runs that team. Uh, just the first two shots he made, the, the step back three, and then he jukes some guy out of his um, socks um, at the top of the key for the second one. Um, Donovan had a good night, double double, um, only five dimes, but you know, he had eleven rebounds. So um, going along with his thirty-seven points and the Utah Jazz win, one seventeen to one eleven. There is your NBA coverage. Yeah. NHL um, this this series between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Colorado Avalanche kind of had me um, thinking back to the Boston Red Sox and. New York Yankees historic series in um, 2004. Um, honestly, Vegas did not look like they were going to pull anything out of their hats, um, especially after that first loss. Um, they got smoked 7-2. to two. Um, and They traded games back and forth with the Colorado Avalanche. And for Game 7, they were able to avenge their uh, Game 1 loss. A score that was similar, 6-3. Um, but that win was enough for the Vegas Golden Knights to win the series. Um, I left them alone as far as wagers are concerned um, for a little while, especially after that 7-2 defeat. You know, Colorado killed them. Killed their pockets, too, a little bit. Um, but I'm happy that Vegas was able to win the series. And... Um, Damn, my prediction for Stanley Cup keeps changing every day. Um, I think you'd be a little foolish um, at this point today, Friday, to say that 
the Golden Knights aren't going to at least make an appearance in the Stanley Cup. Um, who knows, who knows? But, um, we shall find out soon. Soon, soon, soon. It's a great game. Um, now, moving on to Major League Baseball. There was one game that was postponed, San Francisco Giants at the uh, Washington Nationals. Um, but other than that, it was a busy night. In eight innings, the Dodgers beat the Pittsburgh Pirates by a score of 8-7. Uh, Milwaukee beat Cincinnati Reds 7-2. In ten innings, the Philadelphia Phillies beat the Atlanta Braves 4-3. I love low-scoring low scoring baseball games like that. Um, Guys' gloves actually don't have holes in them. Um, like a couple of <laughs> a couple of high-scoring games, like two weeks ago, um, you'd see stuff like that. And that's just an example of poor defense catches being missed. Um, could also be um, multi-run home runs too. So you know, not to put all the blame on on uh, MLB defenses or whatever. Um, Miami beats. Colorado 11-4, my Boston Red Sox beat the Houston Astros 12-8, and yes, what's significant about this one is I bet against my team, and I obviously paid the piper. Uh, go Red Sox, and yet again, not going to bet against my team. Uh, White Sox 5, Toronto Jays 2, Minnesota 7, and New York Yankees 5, the Yankees lose, uh, Min- and Kansas City Royals beat the Oakland Athletics. Six to one. It's a shame for those Oakland Athletics. They've been um, very good this season. Uh, lately they've been they've been um, tanking a lot of games. Uh, they're gonna improve though. I think their overall body of their work um, is not defined in on their loss. Um, again, I'm gonna give another congratulations to the lady. Sooners of Oklahoma, they won the Women's Championship World, Women's Classic World Series. I don't know why I say championship. Uh, five to one, beating Florida State. Um, I believe an uh, interesting fact I saw about these Oklahoma Sooners was they set the single season home run record um, as far as softball is concerned. And that feat is amazing. Um, it's just hard to hit home runs in softball, uh, and for them to break that record, it's it's amazing. I hope those women are waking up happy on a Friday victory morning. Um, and now, Western Mass Sports. Western Mass Sports. So today, um, I've decided that we're going to go with the girls first. Um, and first of all, uh, a shout out to each and every single student athlete in Western Massachusetts. I'm rooting for you, your success, and I hope you guys have fun, stay cool, and enjoy the summer. Um, we'll start with the girls, outdoor track, Mayhar over Athol, 81-7. Mayhar also beat Pioneer Valley 62-60. to Again, trying to get some information on outdoor track and how it's stored without being cheap and going on Google. Um, Coach Brendan Abad, please. I need some uh, <laughs> need some tips. Uh, I, I would love to learn more about the sport. Um, tennis, Chickabee Count 5, Chickabee 0. East Long Meadow beats Agawam, also 5 score, 5 to 0. Um, an outdoor, tr- I mean, oh, I'm just, excuse me, Pioneer Valley beats Camden County School of Science, I believe, by score of 41. Now we move on to lacrosse. Pope Francis beats Central 12 7. Darn it, Golden Eagles, Agawam over Minchog, 8 7. Music Valley beats Pittsfield, 15 10. Longmeadow beats their rival, East Longmeadow, 18 to 4. Grand View over South Hadley, 10 8. West Springfield over Westfield, 6 5. And Wakona beats Lee. Up in the Berkshires, by score 41. Moving on to the final section in girls school sports softball. Athol beats Mohawk Trail, 6 1. Westfield, West Spring, Westfield over uh, West Springfield, by score 11 4. East Hampton over South Hadley, 16-zip, no video game. 
Uh, Sabas beats Munson 6-2. Hopkins over Smith Academy 4-3. Uh, Gateway beats Smith Oak 5-4. And Central Golden Eagles over Palmer 12-9. What a great game. And now moving on to the final section of Western Mass Sports. The boys in tennis. Chicken and Cotton love the boys sports. In wrestling, Smith Volk beats Mayhar 27-12. In lacrosse, he's at Valley over Pittsfield 15-10. She could be over Munson 19-10. In Central over Pathfinder by a score of 11-2. Personally, I would like to give a shout-out and congratulations to one of my favorite Central Eagles. He is a star halfback. And he's also a darn good lacrosse player. And my boy, Marcus Crawford. Shout out to you, Mr. Crawford, um, and your Central Golden Eagles lacrosse team for your victory. Um, and now we're on the outdoor track, Mohawk Trail 73, Greenfield 72. Close one. Mayhar 65, Athol 36. Mayhar also beat Pioneer Valley by a score of 69 to 36. And finally, in baseball, Mohawk Trail 4. Mayhar 0. Chickpea 3, Lobo 2. Northampton beats Chickpea Comp 11 6. Um, Palmer over Munson 14 4. Hampshire beats St. Mary's 6 0. Granby over Ware 6 1. McCann beats Smith Volk 5 2. And my guy, Morandon Guy, and the Golden Eagles beat Polo by a score of 8 to 1. Boom. There it is, everybody. Episode 79 of Going Through Sports Talk. I'm your boy, Rahi Muscle. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. We're also on YouTube, too. Um, if there's a fact or anything that I got wrong or should have included in today's episode, please leave it in the comment section or message me, and I will be more than happy to adjust the fact and put the correct thing out there. Um, I hope everybody else enjoys their Friday, has a great rest of the day. Um, at some point today, um, please look out on the Forum for Sports Talk page um, for the episodes that I'll be uploading today. I have two interviews, um, and I believe I have three more episodes for you guys if I can figure out what's going on with uh, the uploading process in this new computer. Something's not really right, um, but whatever the case may be. I will have all that content up to you guys. And hopefully by tonight, 4 and 3 Sports Talk will be current with everything. So I love you all. I wish you all nothing but the best wealth, love, health, and success. And I hope you have a great day. See you later.